stay away for too long Don't go to bed I'll make a cup of coffee for your head Hello there, story time Today's story is about As you can see No guessing Goldilocks and the three bears, Mama Bear, Daddy Bear, and our teeny weeny bear. So Goldilocks and the three bears, settle in, good listening ears, and have an enjoyable time. Goldilocks and the three bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears. They lived in a little house in a big forest. There was great big daddy bear, middle-sized mama bear, and teeny weeny baby bear. One day, mummy bear made porridge. She put some in a great big bowl. The porridge is ready, she said. She put some in a middle-sized bowl and she put some in a tiny little bowl. The porridge was too hot to eat. The three bears went for a walk till the porridge cooled down. Not far away, a little girl was also walking into the forest. This little girl had golden hair. She was called Goldilocks. Soon Goldilocks found the house of three bears. The door was wide open. She went inside and she was so hungry. She saw the three bowls. She tried to eat the big bowl, but it was too salty. She tasted some from the middle-sized bowl. It was too sweet. She tasted some from the tiny little bowl. That was just right and she finished the full bowl. After that, she saw there were three chairs. Big chair was Daddy's chair. She tried sitting on it. It was too high. She tried to sit on the middle-sized chair. That was too low. Then she saw the tiny little chair. That was just right. She sat on it and crack. The chair broke into pieces. Goldilocks said, never mind, I'm too sleepy. She went upstairs. There were three great beds, big size beds bed. It was too hard. Then she tried sleeping on the middle sized bed. It was too soft. She lay on the tiny little bed. That was just right. And Goldilocks fell asleep. The three bears who had gone for a walk in the forest came home thinking the porridge must be cool now. They reached home and Daddy Bear saw somebody had tried eating my porridge. Mama Bear said, who's been eating my porridge? Baby Bear said, my porridge is all gone. Somebody's eaten it all up. Then Mama Bear said, don't worry my dear, I'll put more for you and make it cold. 
Then the three bears saw their chairs. Who's been sitting on my chair? said Teddy Bear. Who's been sitting in my chair? said Mama Bear. The baby bear looked at his chair and said, Who's broken my chair? Mama Bear and Daddy Bear said, Don't worry, we'll buy you a new one, dear. Don't cry. Then the three bears went upstairs. Who's been sleeping in my bed? asked Daddy Bear in a great big voice. Who's been sleeping in my bed? asked Mama Bear. Baby Bear ran to his bed and said, Somebody is sleeping in my bed and she's still there. Who is this? Just then, Goldilocks heard this little bear screaming and she woke up. She saw the three bears. She got so frightened that she jumped up, rushed down the stairs, ran out of the house and found her way home. The three bears did not see Goldilocks again. And then they were happy at last. And Goldilocks made a promise to her mama that she will not wander off in the forest alone next time. She will stay by the house and not leave her mummy or her daddy alone. So that was the end of Goldilocks and the Three Bears story. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time. Take care.